morning not a great morning uh this is not an advertisement for riced cauliflower what is that stuff oh stuffing um this is a uh, little notice that i have potentially broken my ankle so my management company in my apartment community uh did not fix the treadmills and i was running this morning and within about a couple steps it kind of jerked me and went in reverse slightly and threw me off the treadmill so you can't see it but i'm actually completely bruised banged up and my elbow is bleeding my knees are bleeding and i'm just sitting here at work at home and as soon as i'm done with work i'm gonna go take an uber over to the hospital at the va and go get an x-ray on my my uh my foot so it's, I put a compression, this is how much I, you know, I've gone through injuries in my life. I actually had a compression thing. So it's a little bulbous, I guess. Um, my, my right ankle does not look like my left ankle. And so I just kind of put that back on there and just sit here. And now I'm really hungry because the stuffing is actually really delicious. If you mix it with like some like cut up like flank steak or something. So anyway, so yeah, so that was my morning. <laughs> How's your morning going? Okay, it's been 12 hours since I maybe broke my foot. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to head to the hospital. And uh, busy day, just did a day of work, so that was good. And it's nice because I just sit. <laughs> so no extraneous activity, so it's great. Um, yeah, I did talk to management about the treadmill and I said, hey, you guys told me it was fixed and clearly it wasn't fixed because I flew off it <laughs> this morning and I'm just completely still just got tons of gauze on my kneecaps and my elbow and I like smacked my face, but you know, my face is fine, of course. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm not, it doesn't actually hurt. And even when I tried to walk on it, so I think it's just stage one. So it's fine. They'll just patch it up and give me a compression sock and uh, a boot maybe and some crutches. Yeah, and I'll just stay off it for a few days. I should be fine. Okay, this is the state of my foot. You can see, it's lovely. Okay, I made it to the VA hospital and I am so thankful that I have free medical care for the rest of my life, that I'm in America. <laughs> so probably overseas if I, you know, break my neck in front of a military base or something. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go to the ER. They have valet parking, so I get to leave my car with whoever. Oh my God, my foot hurts so much. Of course, it's my right foot, which is my driving foot. Where are the self-driving cars, Nissan? <laughs> Tesla has them. Uh, okay, so I should probably be here a couple hours, and I'm back here tomorrow morning for my MRI for my spine and my neck. So I have to be back here at 6 a.m. anyway, so I might as well just sleep here and have them wheel me over. I might do that. I might just sleep here tonight, depending on how long it takes for them to sort me out. Uh, anyway, let's go to the VA over here, the valet. Emergency walk-in entrance. I can't walk, people. <laughs> I'm crippled. All right, valet is over here. That's what they had when I had Harriet. They had valet parking, and I literally rolled out of the car in labor water breaking and spewing everywhere and just was like just take the car i don't care i don't care <laughs> home and I've been in the VA all morning. There's my crutches. 
Yay! They're back in my life again for like the 17th time in 17 years. Anyway, um, so my foot is feeling the same. Um, I do have a kind of a boot thing, like a lace-up shoe thing to put on it. Uh, tomorrow when the swelling goes down, they told me to check back in about a week and just see if it's, you know, still swollen. It hasn't turned any other color. So it's not like black and bruised or green or purple or any of those colors. So, um, but yeah, so that's, that's been fun. Um, I had my two MRIs this morning on my, um, on my neck for my army injury and also my lower back. And those were also very uncomfortable two hours in an MRI machine, back-to-back -back MRIs, and I actually fell asleep, so it was good, which I didn't get much sleep last night because I got back from the hospital at like close to midnight. So anyway, so there's my crutches. Um, I am able to walk a little bit on my foot, uh, but obviously I'm trying not to. I basically can't work out, <laughs> you know, for at least two weeks, uh, maybe do some yoga at my yoga mat over there on the floor. So other than that, I'm just going to kind of take it easy maybe just do some stretching um, on my yoga mat. So that's it. That was a that was a terrifying, I could have been killed by a treadmill. This year is not starting off well. <laughs> so I would like this year to be starting off a little bit better, like not like 2020 pandemic, but I mean, maybe like 2021 started off pretty well. But I was building a van back then. I can't imagine having a broken foot and building a van at the same time. Oh, anyway, I can't even go get my van because it's out in my storage unit. So that's about an hour from here. So I think what I'll do is probably just try to organize some things around the house, um, sort out some things to donate, and maybe sort out all the billions of Legos that we have since we don't really play with those anymore. So anyway, that's all. That's the update. So that was fun. We'll see how I am in about a week. So here it is again. I have to drive these things around. I did Instacart, it's so expensive, and I couldn't use my Kroger card, so I'm going to drive one of these and go get my groceries. All right, let's see. This one's ready. Yeah, okay. Probably has more battery power than my van has, but we'll see. It is beautiful day. It is no longer freezing cold and it's sunny, which is good. I walked just over five miles today on the treadmill, like really slow. So it took me two hours and it looks like my ankle will be fine in 21 days when I'm supposed to run a half marathon, which I've never done before. <laughs> so we shall see. Uh, anyway, so I'm heading out to Prudence. I'm going to take some things out there and work on her for a little bit. And I was supposed to go to the Stephen F. Austin State Park last weekend, but of course I had broken foot. So I booked a day pass to go out there since it's not too far from where Prudence lives. And I'm just going to go out there in the afternoon and just kind of check it out and maybe do a quick hike, that kind of thing. So yeah, so just kind of get out and about. Um, so there's that. <laughs> so, all right, good day. And I've got tons of stuff to do. My crutches are still right here. You can see them right here. <laughs> Always keep them around, you know, if I just need to like drive that little shopping cart. I do have to get groceries today. So maybe, I'll, maybe that'll be my excuse. Although last time I got stranded in like the middle of the aisle and the battery just totally died. And I'm like, what is this? Like February, 2021 with Prudence? <laughs> where my battery just completely died anyway i just want to run a half marathon just to say i did it all right i'm missing prudence it'll be nice to take her out she hasn't been out in a couple weeks so we shall see hopefully tires are good battery's good um i do want to get new wheels on her so that will be my next project so yeah so excited to put those on so i just need like a couple days of time to go pick her up and drop her off and not feel like i have to travel so Maybe I'll do that after my half marathon. <laughs> we'll see. So 
So I've been hiking about, I don't know, two hours. <laughs> I think I only went like four miles. Um, feels really good. My foot's good. Uh, this is a really easy park. Very kid friendly. The trails are probably maybe less than like 10 miles of trails. Um, really interesting terrain. Kind of reminds me, as I said, like the uh, jungle gardens in Louisiana. All right, I'm just hobbling now. I think I need to rest, <laughs> eat something, and then drive back to the uh, storage unit, which is only like maybe 20 or 30 minutes away from here. Okay, almost home. I think, uh, yeah, the trails are still closed. Some of them were open that they said were closed. So I actually walked further than I had intended, which is not a bad thing, considering that I should have uh, been here last weekend. <laughs> And I wasn't because I freaking got attacked by a treadmill. Anyway, all right, up the hill and then back to Prudence. Good morning. There's my crutches that I no longer need because I ran 10 miles this morning. So I feel really great. I needed that run. Um, yeah, so I'm just packing. I've got my COVID tests that the government sent me and my little additional first aid kit from the VA. And then I just have my clothes, my Jackery is charged and hoping to get out this weekend. So yeah, so it should be fun. I'm gonna try to trail run at the campground. Um, I'm, I'm gonna bring my bike just so I can ride around because it's gonna be like 80 of us in this hiking group so I can go see everybody and get like hot chocolate and food and all that stuff that I'm not bringing. Just always park next to the food, <laughs> that's the goal. Um, but other than that, I think I, I feel pretty good. So yeah, so uh, the run was good. I'm gonna try to run 10 miles every morning the rest of the week and then start doing 12 miles, 13 miles. Um, I think I'll just do 13 at the most the following week for the next two weeks after that. And I should be ready for my half marathon. <laughs> so I'm such a dumbass. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna break my foot on a freaking treadmill. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, so this is just, uh, I got to figure out how to build this little table here, which is super cute for the van. Yeah, I left all the tools in the van. <laughs> so all the tools are 30, 40 miles from my house right now. So that's my excuse. Good evening. I am heading to my favorite massage place in Chinatown where the lady will walk on my back. My back has been killing me for about three weeks now, uh, mostly on my right side. Um, I do have like bulging herniated discs and arthritis and all that stuff going on because of my army injury, but uh, I haven't been here in probably about six months. So I'm long overdue for the lady to walk on my back. So if you're ever in Houston, head over to Chinatown, um, which is on Bel Air Boulevard and the 8 Beltway. And there's definitely just the best, the best places. I mean, not only that, but after you're done, I'm kind of out of it, but I get to go eat really good, like noodle soup. So it's really good. So I'm here now, it's called a uh, CNJ foot massage, but they do like reflexology. They do the hot stones. I always get the sports massage. Um, and so, yeah, it's just really good. It's, you know, it's normal. It's not like, you know, if you want that kind, then go somewhere else, but not, <laughs> not talking about that. Um, but yeah, so this is the place, uh, it's just CNJ Nature Beauty is what it's called, but it's the best. And for 50 bucks, you get an hour massage. Like, I mean, it's just phenomenal. So I'm gonna go in there now, I'm a bit early, but yeah. So yay, I'm gonna have my back realigned. So happy, about time. Apologies for the nasty foot thing, but anyway, so I'm reinforcing, I've got this uh, compression sleeve and then I have this neoprene Velcro sleeve. So I'll just keep this on for the next like two days and then um, it should be good. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know about this race. It's getting kind of cold and when it's cold, my bones kind of creak a little. Good morning. It is freezing cold again, which is great, but it's like, bitingly cold. So today's the day that I am driving out west and hopefully in two days I'll run my first half marathon in a canyon. So my foot is okay. It's um, I haven't run. I only ran one time this week. Um, I ran 12 miles and then six miles and it was fine but we'll see. So I'm, I've got reinforcement. I've got my, my brace on my foot that I've been wearing on my ankle and then I have ace bandages. And it's only two laps of the park, so, you know, I 
have been running 12 miles, <laughs> you know, every day pretty much. And 12 miles and then like six miles and then three days of 12 miles. So yeah, so it's good. It's uh, nice that it's going to be cold. Always good to sleep in the van when it's a lot, a lot colder. It's not fun when it's like super hot. I think the most temperature that I've slept in the van has been about 85 degrees. And with the insulation, it's about 15 or 20 degrees cooler, which is good, but still it's like not, it's not comfortable. So, especially in the humidity, but today it's foggy and cold and gloomy and it's good. So yeah, just running some errands super early before I start work and then heading out tonight to pick up the van from her storage unit and then heading out west. So tomorrow I'm going to ride San Antonio Mission Trail. Uh, it's gonna be in the 40s, which would be good. So I'll go ride that trail. Uh, it's about 20 miles up to the Alamo and then head out west, go to Del Rio, pick up my packet with my bib and everything. <laughs> and so this is exciting because I've never done this outside of doing like a mud run, which is, you know, cheesy stuff, like three mile mud run, which I love the obstacle courses. And I actually apparently signed up for another one next month. So uh, that should be fun. Um, but yeah, no, this is like an actual real, like just flat out running race. So this might be my new hobby. Uh, the good thing is because I have an extreme spinal disability, which a lot of people actually don't notice or don't know. Um, I actually can't really feel my legs very much. So I guess I have a super high pain tolerance for running because um, I don't actually feel like I, I broke my foot and barely could feel that I broke my foot. I could just feel that it wasn't stepping properly. Um, which is the only way I really knew it was broken. Um, the same thing when I got out of the army, I had like all these fractures and breaks and things and had no idea. So even when I broke my, my arm four times, like I'm like, oh, I'll just go back to ice skating again. So I could be bionic um, or I could just be a complete idiot. So <laughs> anyway, all right, so I'm at the bank. I'm gonna deposit my, so here's the thing. I, I always sign up for these like, like, claims you know like uh t-mobile owes you five dollars and like godiva chocolate owes you eight dollars and so i get these little like four and five dollar checks which are great because i just put it in harriet's account and then she can buy stuff with it so anyway so i'm at the bank and yeah let's uh let's just get this day done and get out west that's uh, freezing and like raining and stuff Okay, it's 37 degrees, and I'm the only person dumb enough to be out here. It is freezing. My toes were actually frozen. I had to go into one of those like porta potties and try to warm up. Uh, feels good though. <laughs> what is it? Put hairs on your chest or something. It is windy though. I may not go all the way to the Alamo. This is the mission trail. Everything's dead. Looks like something's burned down. So, oh my god, my van is right over there. Okay, executive decision, I am going back to the van. I did about 12 miles. It is too cold, too windy, and uh, I'm kind of concerned about my tires need to be pumped up. So my toes are frozen, and I haven't had a cup of tea this morning, so that's when the grumpiness comes in. Okay, I got my number, number 80. That's probably the position I'll get when I cross the finish line. You are last. <laughs> All right, so now I'm heading to uh, oh, I'm heading to Seminole Canyon. I managed to get a um, campsite, so that's good. So yeah, so everyone in there looked like they can run a lot faster than me. Actually, it's a lot of older people and people that look like they run barefoot, so <laughs> it should be pretty fun. Most people are either doing the 10K or the marathon, and I'm doing the half marathon. And you can't change, like I can't just keep running after like two laps if I want to keep going another 13 miles. So yeah, we'll just do this and then maybe after, you know, next time I can do something a little more adventurous. But I'm tired and my foot, my ankle's hurting, so I need to rest it and just, you know, um, rest up and ice it a little bit. So yeah, I've been trying to keep my feet warm, but it's still cold. So I think I'm gonna get some food to go and then head out to, uh, yeah, head out to Seminole Canyon and sleep early night tonight. So luckily I'm in the park, so that's good because then I can just get up super early and then just literally just like roll out of my van to the start line.
have to stop her? Do I have to stop her or do I keep going? Yeah, we'll stop here and uh, nobody else will be in the back. No, I'm going to run a marathon tomorrow. What's that? I'm running a marathon in the Seminole Canyon oh, tomorrow. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I got a race. Stop. There's a bunch of people going through. So yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm the slowest one. one. Oh, they're probably faster than I am, so uh, <laughs> we'll see. US citizen? Yeah, it's American. Yeah. Hey, yeah we'll go All right, thank you. Good luck. Yeah, my parents are from New Jersey. <laughs> It's about 6.30, it's cold, the moon looks pretty, and I'm not entirely sure where the start of the race is. I see people driving in, people at the restrooms, so I'm assuming the race is down here. I gotta use the loo, people warming up. Everyone's gonna run faster than me, so we'll see. This is women over here. <laughs> There's Prudence over there, gonna miss you. Hopefully I'll do this. I don't want to like break my ankle again. You can't see me. Uh, okay, so there's a half mile, nice little walk. You can kind of check your pace. And everyone that's here right now, since I'm about 45 minutes early, they're all doing the marathon <laughs> or the half marathon is what I'm doing. So then there's people doing the 50K. I'm like, why? I need you have to get up at 3 a.m. Anyway, okay, so we'll see. I should be able to do this. I just ran a little bit and I think my ankle will be fine. I just have to do uh, airborne, what is it like the uh, airborne trot? I don't know what they call it in the army, the one where you're like not really running, you're just walking and just bouncing at the same time. <laughs> better that being said there's a lot of this jeep road but there's also some technical terrain pretty close to some cliffs so just be careful out there all right guys segundos, 30 seconds 30 seconds All right, all right, runners! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go, runners! Woo! Eso! Corre, corre, corre! There's a toilet. Okay.
complete a half marathon for the first time in my life. You're doing it! You're yep. Doing it. Okay, so I've got three quarters of a mile to go. I have jelly legs and uh, I might actually complete this. So there's a little bridge. Once I cross over that bridge, there's half a mile and then I'll cross the finish line. I ran the whole way, except right now. So there's the Rio Grande. My face is frozen. My toes are frozen. My hands were frozen until I put my gloves back on. Yeah, good. A lot of uh, first time runners uh, doing the half marathon. Uh, this may be, this may be my new hobby. <laughs> so the hiking, I've done hundreds of miles of hiking in the last two years and uh, hiking's easy. And this is just a speeded up version. Oh my God. So yeah, I mean, look how beautiful that is. That is absolutely beautiful. The girl behind me also her first, her first race too. So she is behind me at the beginning and then I had to take a poop around three miles and then I lapped her and then we stopped at the rest station. So yeah, my nose is running. Okay, so I'm going to finish this half marathon. Holy crap, broken foot, busted spine. You ain't got nothing on me. Screw that. I got my medal <laughs> and uh, that was the uh, first and uh, first of many I think half marathon so I'm gonna walk now the half mile back to my van <laughs> and then I'm here the rest of the day until tomorrow morning so I think I'm going I'm not hobbling by the way no I think I'm gonna just go back and relax take a shower and uh, move my van to the other camping spot since uh, I'm in a different location, so hopefully I'll get better cell reception. And I think I'm just going to watch Netflix today. <laughs> that was super fun. Oh my God. I tell you, like I hit the wall about 12.49 miles in. <laughs> and then uh, the girl that was in front of me, uh, she was behind me. And then we we're kind of pacing each other. And I said, oh my God, we only have like less than a mile to go. And I think we just like, I walked like a little bit for about a few minutes. And then I just like ran and there's like a little hill that you run over at the very end and all the, all the peanut gallery. <laughs> ah, that was good. That was really good. Not think I could do that. I have never been so happy to see Prudence. Ah, I'm gonna sleep well tonight. <laughs> there you are. There's my baby.